Hey everyone, so I wanted to do a special video for you guys. So as many of you know, I recently just graduated from school and I wanted to show you guys my portfolio. Um, so this portfolio is specifically for graphic design and sometime, somewhat illustration, not really, more for graphic design. And yeah, so I'll just show it to you guys. So I, I'm just using, for my portfolio, I decided to just use like this plastic thing. It's a plastic cover and then um, the pages are like acetate sort of. And there, there is going to be a glare, but I'm going to try and hopefully get an angle that doesn't have too much of a glare for you guys. Um, you can also go to my website and you can download a print, port, print version of this whole thing if you want to. You don't have to. But if you want to get a better look at some of the, de the details and the design, then by all means go to my website and all my work is there. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started. So my first page, when you first open the portfolio, so I had it set out a certain way. The first page, I just had my logo, my little logo here, which there's a glare, sorry, there you go. So it's a logo and my website, phone number and email address, and you guys are gonna, don't call me. But it just had all my contact information. And yeah, that's my logo. Next page is kind of like a, transitional page I decided I blew up my logo really big and I just like cut it off and just put design Felicia Estrada because I wanted that to be there so it's like it's a design portfolio and then portfolio a little down here in the corner so for my school we were required to write an artist statement and this is mine um, it's also on my website if you want to check it out but basically it says that my art is about music because I, if some of you know, some of you may know, some of you may not, but I actually played the violin for a while and that kind of got me inspired to do art about music or music, yeah, art about music. And so um, a lot of my art is inspired by music and dance and entertainment because I just love it. But so this is one of my pieces that I entered in an art show and I actually won people's choice which is a really nice reward, but this is a watercolor and Copic illustration that I did. It's kind of like about this person, like imagining the possibilities there are when playing his instrument, which is a piano. So that's why you have like, the, it's called the nature of music, because of tree, nature, you know, all that fun stuff. So my layout, I wanted to put like just some informational text here on this side of the pages and then here I wanted to just have a full view of the work instead of putting the information on the bottom I just wanted this page to be the work itself. So this piece was for the Lahana Dickens Fest. It was a proposal. I didn't get selected sadly but it's okay. Um, so what I did with this piece it was about Charles Dickens and so Charles Dickens. So what I did was I took the titles of a lot of his several of his um works that were inspired that kind of refer to Christmas kind of don't and because this is for a Christmas thing is a Christmas team theme sort of thing and the client wanted something that was you know Christmas Eve so Christmas I'm saying Christmas a lot anyway so I drew a little silhouette of a man it's kind of supposed to be Ebenezer, Scro Ebenezer Scrooge and I also took the titles and just made a texture of type and I reversed it on some of the areas and so it creates this beautiful effect which I love. I have kind of like a charcoalish look on it too and yeah and you can actually buy a version of this without without Lahana Dickens Fest and all this here. Um, it just says um, Charles Dickens on it so if you want to buy that it's on my Redbubble store but yeah I'm a, I really like this work and I really liked how it turned out. So this was for that same event, the Lahana Dickens Fest, and this was a logo proposal. So for this logo, um, I was inspired a lot by Victorian style logos, which all these like swirls and curves, which I I find them I find them really attractive. And I put some of the Christmas holly in here. Um, this is all hand rendered type, which means well, which means I wrote it, I drew it, I should say. And because I really like this like look of just kind of hand drawn, kind of not, and it just looks. I think it looks interesting. 
But yeah, and I have a large version of it and a tiny version of it just because logos have to work in a smaller, in a small scale. And this one kind of works, some lines blend together, which is, it's okay. So this one, this, this is one of my favorite projects. Um, this is for a friend of mine. His name is Michael Pacheco. He is a violinist. And he asked me to create a poster for him for his senior recital. So this this piece I chose to put in here because it displays how I combine how I like to combine my illustration work with the you know this streamlined graphic design stuff. And yeah, I also put down here if you can see that some examples of how I do my art or how I do my designs. Like I start off with a rough sketch, and then for the violin I just drew it out, and then created all the created this little artwork here and it got added on to this one so yeah that's the poster and so I added this was at these were added later on but these were just the composer names that he wanted on it I, originally I didn't have the composer names but he asked for that but so I just put in but yeah I like this poster it turned out so well so this was a project it wasn't really a poster or anything like that it was just well it was supposed to be a poster it was like an advertisement and so I decided to do a music advertisement for the performance of Carmina Burana and I just made up an orchestra and made up everything this project was meant to teach us type contrast and how to use typography in different ways like here we have color and then we have type as texture in the background and form type is form which is the giant C because the beginning Carmina and then I was thinking of O Fortuna, which is the first line, first, um, one of the first piece in Carmina Barada, and they make this O shape. And I kind of wanted it to just, I didn't want to do an O, I did a C because of the beginning of Carmina Barana. And kind of has that openness. Yeah, it's hard to explain. But yeah, that's it. Type is, and then more type contrast here with the weight. Like we have a thin weight here. Um, a bold weight over here and yeah just a time contrast type contrast project the next piece in here is actually my personal logo which I use all the time you see it everywhere it's on my website it's on everything because I I really like how this logo turned out so the idea is that I I wanted to create like a stamp look and I actually have a stamp of this you'll see it later and so I wanted to put, use my, the F in my name and make it a violin F hole because I played violin, so a little connection there. And then I have this, if you um, know music, I try to draw like a quarter rest here just for the Z because it looks like a Z. And I just try to put like little nods to music in it. Um, kind of what's not a nod to music is this little A. So... If you guys are familiar with the movie Frozen, um, Elsa, when she signs, whenever, if you go to Disney World and you get an autograph from Elsa, this is how she signs her A's. She does these little swirlies and puts sparkles all over it. And I really like that. So I put the, put Elsa's A on my, on my piece, on my logo. Cause I really like Frozen, but yeah. And art and design just to say what I do. Cause I'm not a, not that famous yet but yeah that is my current logo and I love it and um this, this was a project for school this was a one of our projects the next part of that project was to create a letterhead and business card there's my number again I gotta edit those out but this was my letterhead um I used some sheet music texture in the background and put my logo down here as like a stamp it's not an angle and then business card is like a, having a it's like the idea was to have like my logo just be stamped onto these cards with all my information on it at the side. And yeah, that's my logo and business card. And I took the project a step further. We, this wasn't part of the original product, project. This wasn't part of the original project. So I decided, I'm gonna move this light. That's a little better. Okay, so I decided to what I decided to do was to create a branding for myself. So I created like postcards. There's my stamp that you can see down here. 
it just has my little logo on it. Then now there it is. It has my logo on it here. I made a flash drive sample and then I just kind of put it all together up here with my business cards and everything that I created for my personal branding. Okay, and then more stuff. This is, an, this is my attempt at an infographic because I really wanted to do an infographic for one. This is for a project. Um, so this is kind of like on the lines of happy. I wanted to do a project that brought bring awareness to happy because it's a personal issue with me because personal issue with me because I suffer from depression and I wanted to do a poster about how to be happier, how to make just like a better how to explain that. Just to bring awareness to happiness and how to make yourself happy. And so here I have some info. So I wanted the info to flow kind of like an S shape. And this was a friend of mine who took the, who volunteered and I made her do made her take photos. I'm like, look sad. And I look really happy. <laughs> and yeah. And the question, are you happy? And then this is like some statistics and then how you can improve your own happiness. So I wasn't just trying to make people wasn't just putting information I wanted to a call to action like how can you make yourself happy and some tips one is smile like pretending even if it's not honest if you smile just make the gesture it actually helps releases release endorphins and it makes you feel happy and exercise which also releases endorphins and be thankful like spend time to think about all the moments that you should be thankful for like all the good things and that usually helps you get happy be happy and then that's my old logo but yeah next piece is a logo design for studio 210 which is for which is a proposal for the sangria de cristo art center and yeah i put some examples in here on how i usually come up with my ideas but this is the idea i've stuck with for this logo here so i just wanted like this idea was like it's supposed to be like a high-end membership level for the Sangre de Cristo Art Center, and I wanted to create another like stamp quality logo. And so we did like, um, I did a martini glass because it's kind of like a, cock they do like cocktail parties and high class events and all that. And I wanted to put the art in there by just putting like the splatter paintish kind of look and the type. I don't really like how the O kind of, or the studio, the 10, the O and the 10 kind of kids the edge that's probably one thing I should have checked but yeah added some more stuff for stamp qualities and again for a smaller version down here I just put it at like one inch so you can see that it works in a small area but yeah that's how I do my mock-ups and stuff um this was a kind of like a conceptual piece more like an art piece so we had to choose a word and then we had to create a typeface our own typeface of that word and then put it with an image that complements the word so I chose the word ambiguity and for my typeface I kind of I wanted to cut off as much stuff as I could from the type from the letters but you can still tell that they're letters so like the a I kind of cut off a little bit of one of the legs here and same with the T and I kind of have some letters that aren't connecting and then for the piece for the image, I got a stock photo of a woman in a mask and I edited it. I made it a duotone and yeah, I just made it blue and black. And I chose a mask because it's a uh, mask rep represent, represents ambiguity because it's, you can't tell the person behind the mask. So that's a little thing with that. And I put used some type as texture. I made a letter form with the A, if you can see that's running through here. And then I repeated ambiguity several times to make it look interesting and yeah. Anyway, that was just a project. This was a proposal for the Colorado Owl Fest, which was in, yeah, it was really soon, it was in March. Um, this was an event hosted by the Nature and Raptor Center, it was just for a weekend. And they wanted a poster with all of their information. So I kind of tried to do a similar flow here and I left a space down here for their logos in case like all the sponsors for for like the sponsors of the show and the weekend and all that. So yeah, I like how this turned out. So I 
first I painted this illustration in the background like you know hand painted it and then I put it into Illustrator and just put in all the information that's there but yeah it wasn't chosen but that's okay I like how it turned out I love how the illustration turned out and I think the illustration can stand on its own as a piece and this was my last, this is my last piece in my portfolio. It is a proposal for the Tempered Steel, Tempered Steel magazine or book, which is a literary magazine that's produced annually by students at CSU Pueblo. And so I, I took one of my original illustrations and I just put it here. And then I put like, you know, this is where the spine would be. And right here is just where the names of the authors would be. And yeah, I liked how it turned out. It wasn't chosen. It was one of the finals. It was like when they were choosing which one of our pieces they wanted to pick. Mine was one of the final pieces. It was tied against another girl and she got it and not me. I was really sad. And yeah, that is my portfolio. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm sorry about the glare. If you wanted to get a better look at some of the stuff and if you have any questions. Yeah, okay. If you wanted to get... If you want to get a better look at some of my work, you can download a print version of this portfolio on my website, feliciaestrada.com. Uh, it's in my About the Artist page, but I'll leave a link to it directly. Up. And yeah, if you have any questions about any of the work, be sure to you know leave a comment, message me, all of that fun stuff. And yeah, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that fun, 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 fun social media. I also have a vlog channel, you should check that out too. And yeah, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.